Place the spools of thread or thread cones on the front row of the spool pins. The second row of the spool pins is for the standby spools. Use the large felt rings and spool rests for the thread cones. For the spools of thread, use both large and small felt rings and place the spool holder on the spool to hold it. If the thread slips down while sewing, place the net over the thread cone or spool to prevent the thread from getting tangled. The threading path of all needles is similar, so follow the threading process of the first needle when threading other needles. Threading the needle number one. Place the spool of thread or thread cone on the right hand spool pin. Draw the thread up and pass it through the right hole in the thread guide bar from behind. Slip the thread under the leaf and pull the thread down to the right pretension control. Pass the thread through the guide hole from behind. While holding the thread with both hands, Slip the thread under the tension disc, then hook the thread around the guide pin from right to left. Make sure the thread is inserted under the tension disc by tugging the thread. Push back the tension release lever so the tension discs of the tension control will open. Hold the thread with both hands and pull it down along the right channel to the head cover. Pass the thread down through the right hole in the guide plate and pass the thread through the eye of the check spring from right to left. Pull the thread up and through the second hole from the right. Continue to pull the thread up and pass it through the eye of the right take-up lever. Pull the thread down and pass it through the third hole from the right. Pass the thread down through the right hole in the lower guide plate. Slip the thread behind the needle bar thread guide on the right needle. Handy Needle Threader Insert the thread into the Y notch. Twist the needle threader so that the triangle mark faces up. Place the V notch over the needle. Slide the threader down along the needle while pushing it gently until the threader pin goes into the needle eye. Push the threader until the threader pin comes out through the needle eye with a loop of thread. Remove the threader slowly from the needle, leaving the thread loop behind the needle eye. Then pull the loop of the thread out to the back. When you change the thread to a new color, cut the thread close to the spool or thread cone and remove it. Put in place the spool or thread cone of the next color and tie the threads together. Remove the thread from the needle eye and pull it to draw the second thread until the knot is reaching the needle eye. Cut the second thread close to the knot and thread the needle with the handy needle threader. Pull up the tension release lever to close the tension discs. 